Cartel Mommy here today to do a bag review for all of you. And I've been gone for a little bit, you guys. I've been gone for a little bit because I did something terrible to my right hand. And I'm right-handed. And you guys know I focus on my bags or whatever I'm doing the review on, not on my face. So I thought long and hard about how I was going to do it. But I finally have a smaller brace. We won't talk about what I did to myself. It's really, really bad. But um, I'm going to try to do this with my like gimpy hands. So just bear with me, but I wanted to get this video up particularly because this is the first time that we've packed up to go to Disneyland where we didn't have a stroller. You heard me right. It's the first time pretty much ever in my adult life that I'm going to Disneyland without a stroller or a wagon or anything else because Disneyland's changed the rules about wagons and my girls are too big for a stroller. So we have to carry everything with us. So I've packed differently than I normally did and I thought maybe some of you are in the same boat where you have kids that really can't carry their own stuff yet because they're, they're little and they're really like in the wagon still but they're too big for a traditional stroller. This is how we packed up. Now we pack up a lot for our local amusement parks. We live in Southern California but this is the first time at Disney and it's expected to be about 100 degrees while we're there. So we've packed up for about a 100 degree day at Disneyland for there's 10 of us going. <laughs> 10 of us going but this bag is packed for six so if you're into that that kind of thing let's go ahead and get going so I did pack up into our Jujube be right back this is in the mad mad world print it is their Alice in Wonderland print this print did come out a little bit ago but you can still find this print on third-party sellers um, I think Jujube still has a few pieces in it I don't quote me on that but again, this is a Jujube bag. It's a Be Right Back is the style and the print is a Mad Mad World. Again, it is their Alice in Wonderland theme. And one of the reasons that we love taking Jujube bags to amusement parks is that they're machine washable. So all that grime, all that gross, sunscreen, germs, everything, just wash it right off. So love that about that. And I don't worry about the fact that it's white because we're gonna wash it. So I have lots of, lots of GGB bag reviews. So if you wanna see this bag packed up, not for an amusement park, I'll go ahead and list my GGB playlist up in the iCards above and down in the description box below. Pretty much if GGB makes a style, I've made a video on the bag. So you can go ahead and check that out there. But again, this is our amusement park bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump on in. I'm word to you guys. So if you're new here, you don't know that about me. I'm talking kind of fast because I want to get through it. I don't want to be here too long. So here we go. This is your front flap. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have to kind of use two hands because my one hand's not working so good. This is my sunscreen pouch. This is like literally my sunscreen pouch. I have had skin cancer a couple times, you guys. So this is going to be really interesting. So this is my sunscreen. My face sunscreen for my face and my hair. And then the powder to go on top. Um, and yes, it does say 100. I love this one and the powder to go on top. There's several out there, but the Super Goop one's pretty good. But this is just a magnetic flap pouch. And then this is your mommy pocket. The Be Right Back does have a very good mommy pocket. And you guys, my hand is so gimpy. Here we go. Now this pocket is gusseted. Let me go ahead and turn it. So you can see it is gusseted, so it doesn't come all the way open, so your stuff's not gonna fly out. And this is where I just have some quick grab items. So in here, I have a couple of the wisps because no one wants bad breath and then I have some of those um, these are the phone and the lens cleaner so they work for sunglasses they work for regular glasses phones cameras all that kind of stuff um, you know sunscreen gets everywhere then you do also have your key leash here now this is technically a sunglass holder or a glasses holder and then you can wipe the glasses with this material this is your key leash here there's a little pocket here this has a hand sanitizer in it. And then down here, you guys, is a portable charging bank. Now, for most of this stuff in here, I can go ahead and link it down in the description box below. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, I will have links for you. And a lot of the stuff you guys actually have discount codes for as well. Those have our charging bank and then a set of headphones. Okay, I'm gonna try to use my left hand a little bit here. So this is your felt lined pocket. This used to be your tech pocket. A lot of tech I find doesn't really fit in here anymore. So I use this for just quick grab stuff, but I just have our lip balms in here. So the girls and I do not share our lip balms. So the two littlest ones have their lip balm and then this one's mine, so they're the SPF. And then if you guys have not seen these mini Tic Tacs, these are the cutest things ever. Again, can you tell I don't do bad breath? 
Now, before we move into the inside of the bag, I did want to talk to you about the Be Right Back really quick. For those of you who don't know, it is a dedicated backpack bag. So this can only be carried as a backpack. It does have this great grab handle at the top though. I find it very, very useful. Let me go ahead and flip it around to the back so you can see the back side really quick. So you have this breathable mesh on the back side, breathable mesh here, very comfy straps. My husband is six foot and about 235, 245 pounds and he finds this bag very comfortable. It's one of his favorite styles from Jujube. So again, before we open this main compartment, let's go ahead and talk about what we have going on here. So this is an Aventure pouch. Now, Aventure key rings are some of my favorite things. You're not gonna see my keys in here because I'm not taking my keys, my husband's taking his. But this is one of their silicone pouches. And in here, I just have some quick, quick grab stuff. I have a set of soaps and some disposable throwaway packets of hand sanitizer. You're going to find a lot of hand sanitizer in here, you guys, because Disneyland is the land of all the sicknesses from around the world. So we got another hand sanitizer here. And then this is the sunscreen that my kids and the rest of my family use. Right here. Now, Jujube, uh, the VR back does have elasticated bottle pockets on either side of the bag. There's also a great... There's also a great zipper pocket along the back side right here. And this is where I put our stuff for the end of the night. So in here, this is a Medi Buddy case. And I stuck some glow stick stuff in here. And then this is full of glow sticks. And that's it. Now moving around to this side of the bag, I have my fan here. You guys, this is a three speed fan. It also has a mister. This is the best rechargeable fan I've ever found. The three, the three fan speeds work great and the misting function is fabulous. Now I was not sure if I wanted to keep this little clippy on here, but I think it works good just to hold it on the outside of the bag. I didn't want to keep it on the inside because again, hundred degrees will probably be grabbing for it quite a bit. Now the Be Right Back also has a very nice pocket on the very big top right here. I don't have anything in here because that's where we're gonna keep our cell phones. All right, now I'm gonna open up this bag. Now this bag does open completely up like a suitcase, so it's gonna flop all the way towards my husband who records for me. That's right, you guys, I still don't use a tripod. I use my husband. So here we go, everything's gonna start to fall. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now, obviously, when he's wearing it or someone's wearing it, we don't open it the whole way because you don't need to open it the whole way to get your stuff out. But this is what it looks like. It's really nice to pack it up. So the first thing you're going to see here are our Mickey Mouse ears. These are by Comfort Bands. They are headbands. They are a whole lot more comfortable than the actual ones you buy at the park. So myself and I have three little girls. So well, one of my little girls is an adult. And then right here, what you're going to see is my Cooley Bar SPF shawl scarf. This was my favorite find of 2022. So any of you who've been watching my videos, you'll know that I've told you this is my favorite Amazon find of 2022. I love this. Again, burning and skin cancer are a real thing for me. Rico baby wipes. These are from Costco. My favorite baby wipes of life. I've been a mom for 29 years, you guys. My oldest is 29. My youngest is seven. And I used to be diehard Huggies. Nope. Rico. All right. So I know that when you go to Disneyland or Disney World, any of the, you know, have a tray, walk up, eat kind of places, you can ask them for water. They'll give you water. They give you very small water. My kids would need eight of those at a time. Plus they're always thirsty when we're in lines. So we're going to go ahead and take a very large bottle of water that we can all drink out of or pour into cups. So when they do have cups, we can just refill them right then and there. So while it is a little bit heavier to carry this, it's also much more convenient than trying to carry like six insulated bottles. This one is 64 ounces or 68, 64. And it's the reduced brand. Right here, you guys, this is my Vera Bradley Deluxe Pill Case. And this is in Enchanted Medalla. Med Medalla, I think I'm saying that right. Um, I love this thing. Now, one of the big things for me when we go to any kind of amusement park, especially when it's gonna be hot, is that we have medicine for any situation. We're talking headache medication, tummy medication, 
nausea medication, motion sickness medication. Uh, you know, I get migraines, so I have my migraine stuff in here. Also, uh, there's a couple of us who take prescription medications, even though we're gonna be gone one day, I take two days worth because you never know when something's gonna happen. So I also have two days worth of prescription medications for everybody who needs them. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So what you're gonna see here is you have Imodium. You guys don't ever go anywhere with without Imodium, especially if your kids are gonna be eating strange stuff. I'm not a doctor, don't take medical advice from me, I'm just kidding. There's some kids' Dramamine, some Pepto-Bismol for kids. This is some cold medicine just in case, because you never know, adult Dramamine, um, acid medication. This is all my migraine stuff in a separate container. These little containers, this bag comes with three of these. And then it has this bottom section down here. And the bottom section has powder Tylenol for adults and for kids. And then this is where all of the prescription medications plus the vitamins are. This is a printout copy of our reservation. So Disneyland does require you not only to have prepaid tickets, but also have a reservation for the day that you go. Um, well, you don't have to, but you run the risk of not being able to get in if you wait till the same day. So this is a printout just in case something happens with the app. This is a Le Sport Sec 3-zip pouch in the sunflower print. I love this thing. And the top pouch, top zippered section, I have a couple of reusable ma or disposable masks. Again, don't come for me. <laughs> we still wear masks sometimes. Uh, this is our wipies, more wipies. We have several people with us, so I want to have extras. And here I have, okay, so these are actually like zit cream cover-ups, but they work really good. So I watched Dr. Dre on TikTok, and she's a dermatologist, and she was talking about how these work really good for things like mosquito bites to take the itch away and draw the poison out. So we also have a bug bite thing. You guys are probably familiar with the bug bite thing. So I figure if we use a bug bite thing and use this, if anyone gets bit by anything, that would be great. These are demo flossers and this is fabulous. And the bottom section down here, I just have a spare pair of contacts and some individual eye drops. Okay, now we're here at this front zippered section. So in here, my favorite ever first aid kit is made by Keep Going First Aid. They have three sizes. I have all three sizes. This is their mini one. It's chock full of all the things that we might need should someone just fall down and get a little boo-boo while we're out. Love it. Then we have our mosquito bands. And you guys, if those of you who go to Disney know that Disney uses a very light, like garlic kind of spray or something um, that keeps most of the bugs away. But just in case, because here in California, we have something called the Adidas mosquito and those things are no joke. So we're taking our bands. And then in here I have time of the month supplies and uh, disposable potty seat covers. And then because it's gonna be so hot, um, I do have some of these wipies, uh, not only to wipe the kids off if they're really hot and sticky from all the sunscreen once the sun goes down, but once we get back to the car, we usually change the kids out of their hot, dirty clothes that they've been in all day. Just kind of wipe them down really quick with one of these like head to toe and put them in comfy clothes because we have a couple hour drive to get home and they'll fall asleep. So it's really nice to just give them like a pseudo kind of wipe down bath a couple times. Just get the grime off, help them relax, especially for that ride home. And that's it, you guys. So that's it, you guys. That's everything that we're gonna carry for a full day from rope drop to midnight for uh, 10 of us going, but we're packing for six in this bag. Hopefully that gives you guys some ideas on, you know, what you might want to pack or inspires you to do something else. But I always love watching what people do to get an idea of what, oh, I didn't think about that. But the one thing I tell you, if you're going anywhere in the heat, you guys get yourself one of those fans because, you know, everyone, everyone fights over it. Everyone needs one of those fans. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.